Cam, what is this season? Uh, you've four, four games, 4-0, four and, and I mean, you seem to be the, I mean, not that you worry about individual awards, but the, perhaps the odds on favorite for the Heisman Trophy. Just what has this season so far meant to you, and how much better can you get? Uh, that's been a lot to me. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing for us, uh, especially to me, you see out there tonight, I, I miss a lot of easy throws from playing man covers that we knew that they were going to play. They actually played more man covers than what we thought they were. Uh, that's just something I got honed in. The O-line gave me enough time, but I didn't connect downfield. Receivers were winning early on. I didn't connect downfield. So uh, I'm not really worried about that. Uh, these games really don't matter. The only games that matter is ACC play. So, you know, we got to watch tech, watch film on uh, V-Tech, you know, get ready for them in front of Cam, what did it feel like to be behind? You guys fell behind twice in this game for the first time this year. Um, really didn't feel different from any other game. Uh, you know, we, we stayed the course um, offensively. Uh, just that one turnover we had that really shot us in the foot. Um, but we know going to this game, we couldn't help them. They Our defense would get a lot of turnovers. Uh, so that's something that we emphasized going to this game. And after that play, we were able to, to hone and give back to our brand of offense. And, you know, defense, you see they – step up and they play every game the same way. Uh, they gave them a couple yards early on, but when they got to the red zone, the boys was locked in. So uh, we know they always going to be there for us, the defense side of the ball, Mitch Powell getting the pick, Mo Young getting the pick. So uh, whenever you got a good defense, it makes it, it make our job easier. You know, the four opponents that you faced so far, do you feel that USF was the toughest opponent that you've had to deal with between Florida, Florida, a and of course, Ball State? Uh, yeah, I believe so, uh, just because they're so physical. Uh, it's a physical team over there, and, you know, they showed it today. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we just got to worry about ourselves, worry about what we have to do to execute plays. And that's something that Coach Dawson preaches to me, uh, routine plays, win games. And we, uh, we, did, we, did, we did a lot of good stuff today, but, you know, we did a lot of uh, bad stuff on, in the quarterback room. Cam, what strides have you seen from Isaiah Horton so far this season? Um, big strides from since I got here. The plays that he made today, I seen him make better plays in spring ball and fall camp. So, you know, I'm not surprised that he made those plays today. He wins versus man coverage. He knows what I like to get to versus zone. Uh, like you see the dig, he went rolling call for me. Um, that boy, that boy, a ball player. Uh, he, he lives in the film room with me. That's all he want to do is go to class and play football and watch film. So, you know, you got guys like him in the receiver room. You know, he, he makes me want to play better and also play better for the team. Cam, you mentioned the early turnover. Just how proud are you of the offensive response, you know, after the turnover and drop tonight? Uh, that's good. Um, and, I mean, it, go, it goes back to, you know, uh, like fall camp scores with defense. We had turnovers down, but at the end of the day, how are you going to come out the next drop? Um, turnovers going to happen. We're going to have another turnover um, throughout the season. Um, so, you know, it's how we're, how we're able to respond to the next drop, and, you know, we're able to respond to the game uh, good on offense. Cam, the offense, I think, has set a school record for scoring the first four games of the season. What do you feel like is working so well for you guys at this point? We're being consistent from pass game to run game. Um, and that's all it has to the old line. I mean, they move, they move the boys left and right. Uh, trenches is the reason why we're 4-0, both sides of the ball. So, you know, they bring intensity every day of practice, and, you know, they, they emphasize that during the week. They emphasize that in the game. And as long as we're playing good up front, you know, we just got to do our job on the back end, on the perimeter, and, you know, we'll be able to, be, to, be able to win some more games. How, how, team, how, how, how good can this team be going forward the rest of the year? I think we'll be really good, especially with the plays that we left out there on the field, uh, especially in the past game. Uh, I'm pretty sure defense left a couple plays on the field that they wanted back. So, you know, we just we just got to watch the tape. And, you know, the only the only thing that can that can stop us is us. So, you know, we just got to keep on progressing forward and, you know, take take every take every opponent like they're the number one team in the country. That has to be our mindset every week. And, you know, we just got to go out there and play Miami football. Okay, and we were able to connect with nine different receivers tonight. What was the key to spreading the ball around so effectively and keeping the defense off balance? Uh, that's a key for us every week. Um, you can't be – one-dimensional college football, um, even in high school football, can be one-dimensional. Uh, if you be one-dimensional, they can key on those specific players. So it'll be able to spread the ball around in the pass game and the run game, checking it down to Dame. He was just posted in the pass game as well. Um, you know, it, it makes our job easier, it makes my job easier, especially when we have the rushing attack to set up play action shots. We weren't able to take shots like that when we wanted to, but we moved the ball consistently. So, you know, if you constantly get first downs, um, live trying to get first downs every time, you know, you eventually score some points. Early in the first half, Jacoby Joy dropped the pass and ended up in an interception. What, what was your message to him um, when y'all went to the sideline? Uh, don't worry about it. I told him you got to make up for it throughout the end of the season. You got to give him one back. But, you know, JG, the best receiver, he's one of the best receivers in the country. So, you know, I'm going to come back to him um, next week. Uh, he's probably going to be in that same position, might run the same play. He's going to catch it. He's going to score it. So, you know, I'm not really too worried about that. The only thing that matters to us is the win. And, you know, 
the end of the day, we got it. Um, and you know, that's all you can be be thankful for. You yeah. said like a, a lot of front fronts, you know, a lot of pressures. Just how do you think the offense and the offense line as a whole, the offense line and the offense as a whole, handle you know what USF's defense throughout you guys? Uh, we did real good, um, especially in the trenches. Zach gets those guys right uh, with the points um, and protection. And on the perimeter, we just got to continue to see space. Uh, tonight was more of a more of a man coverage uh, night for us. So you know, it's really and with the high safety that they play, you have to hold them a little longer. Um, then really just comes down to the receivers winning versus man, and they did that all night. And you know, that's the reason why I think we'll be able to, we were able to be explosive. Thanks, Cam. Thank you. Colorado won.